as a child. What's a song you sang loud and proud? Only to find as an adult it's super inappropriate for a child to be singing. My 11-year-old. Completely innocent niece. Let's have some fun. This beat is sick. I wanna take a ride on your disco stick. Me. Let's play a different song. I don't want anybody else. When I think about you I touch myself. I in the car. Riding shotgun with my dad driving. I'll make love to you. Like you want me to. Boys two men. Me so horny by the two live crew. My dad once said, it's your mum's favorite song. Thanks dad. Th Greased lightning. As a kid I was part of this summer program at the local park and we did a whole production with a bunch of 5 to 10 year olds singing this song all dressed up as greasers. It was cute. But that song is so inappropriate for little kids to be singing with lines like You are supreme. RR. The chicks will cream. RR. For greased lightning. In about third or fourth grade one came home from playing at a friend's house. Said friend had been singing some weird song that got stuck in my head. So I stroll in and take my seat at the dinner table and start singing as loud as I can. Sit on my face and tell me that you love me. I'll sit on your face and tell you that I love you too. Quote. My parents damn near choked. They couldn't stop laughing and then told me never ever to sing that again. Luckily they were huge Monty Python fans. Nothing I knew about at the time. I thought it was I want a 7-up. Turns out Color Me Bad was actually saying I wanna sex you up. You Shook Me All Night Long by ACDC was my son's favorite song to sing at preschool, Tears of Joy. Pony by Genuine. The thong song was hilarious to Ding as a kid, no idea what it was talking about till later though. It's Raining Men by The Weather Girls. It took me a while to figure out why I shouldn't sing it in front of my mum who already thought I was gay. Still a banger though. It wasn't me shaggy. When I was really small I was all about Manita by Hall and Oates. I totally thought it was about a really mean tiger that escaped from the zoo or something and liked to eat boys. Edit. Geez Louise. I've never looked that far into it and had no clue what's his face said it's about NYC. Thanks for letting me know. I still thought that when I was three. Ha ha. My hump's black-eyed peas apparently they were not just talking about milk and cocoa puffs. The particular song that mentions. I'll take you to the candy shop and let you lick my lollipop, left me completely unaware of its. Underlying meaning back then. As I blissfully enjoyed its melody. Apparently, afternoon delight wasn't about getting out of school. I did not know that. Upon gaining knowledge later in life, I discovered that the meaning behind the song, Macarena, revolves around a woman engaging in infidelity by involving herself with two of her partner's friends simultaneously, thereby participating in a consensual encounter with both individuals concurrently. To the Windu! Exclamation mark. Context. I didn't really know much English. Get Off by Prince. My mother heard me sing 21 positions in a one-night stand and took the disc off me. It unfortunately belonged to my older sister. Got punished twice in one week. I still love that song. Five different groups of kids sang Ice Ice Baby at our elementary school talent show.